Hey Pascal here, nice to see you again on my channel and in today's video I will show you how you can color correct underwater footage from the GoPro Hero 7 using Final Cut Pro 10. My name is Pascal Basel and in 2015 I quitted my job to escape the red race and travel the world. While doing that I rediscovered my old passion for filmmaking and learned to fly drones. Now I make videos of the most beautiful places in the world, be part of my adventures and learn how to make cinematic travel videos. So I have the GoPro Hero 7 here and I'm very impressed by this camera. I mean from a color point of view there is no change really between the Hero 6 and the Hero 7 but the nice thing is of course the image stabilization but also how um, it records the videos or the codec it records the videos in which is the HEVC format. You can set it in a menu that it all records in HEVC. Of course it's not compatible with every device but the nice thing about that is that you get nearly twice as much of compression and that means that you have nearly twice as much of detail in your footage and that's great. I really love that and the Hero 6 only used it as far as I know for um, the 4K 60 I think but not for 4K 30 not for every frame rate in 4K and this changed with the Hero 7 you can really use it for everything and I like that and I, you can really see it like the quality is amazing um, but yeah under the water you always have the problem that the reds are missing like the more the deeper you go under the water the less red light is there and that means that the colors all look bluish and it's not natural anymore and of course the best thing and that i would uh, really recommend to everyone to use when you go a bit deeper under the water you go diving and stuff like that to use a red filter you can just put this red filter on the lens of your gopro and then you don't get these problems and it's a lot easier to color correct and it will always look better but um, you should also consider while using a red filter that it's not really good for snorkeling. It's more when you're a bit deeper, like under five or 10 meters under the water, then it works best because otherwise you get a red tint in your footage and that doesn't work that good. So the footage that I have right now is from the Gili Islands in Bali or close to Bali here in Indonesia. It's awesome. I love this place. So beautiful and good for snorkeling. And yeah, so like mentioned, I didn't use a red filter then. I mean, I snorkeled, so there is enough light coming in, but it's also a bit bluish and I have some nice footage of turtles here and I want to show you one clip of that and how you can color correct it to make the colors look a bit more realistic. So let's get into final cut and I will show you. Okay, so here is the clip. It will actually go pretty quick. As you can see here, it's pretty cute. I love turtles. And yeah, the stabilization doesn't work that good under the water, I would say from the Hero 7, it works better on land. But it's good enough. I mean, if I would be a bit farther away from the turtle, I could probably stabilize it, but I will not do that now. It's about color correction anyway. So let's apply the uh, basic color correction here and get into it. And now you can see with the color scopes here, you can activate them by this video scopes feature here, also with command and seven. And then you can see that the reds are already missing. The reds are a lot lower than the blues and the greens. And to make it equal again, I simply use this global color slider here and I bring the reds in again until it looks around equal. I would say that's pretty good. See before and after, you can already see the difference. And now, Let's scroll a bit forward so that we can also see the blue here in the background. And now I will do my basic color correction, like bring the shadows a little bit down, highlights a bit up. I won't, don't want to bring the highlights up too much now because there is no direct light source and direct light sources are usually here at 100 and uh, like the rest is usually around 80. It's already 90 but it gets a bit too dark I think if I don't use enough highlights. So. I think that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. And yeah, let's bring in a bit more contrast by lowering the shadows. And then in that case, I would raise the midtones a little bit. And that looks great. Oh, it looks much better than before. Now let's see how it is without this pushing the reds in there or not. Like this would be like the normal color correction. And this is when I equal it with adding some reds. 
can make a little bit more, I would say. Uh, it's probably too red. I will leave it like that is. But what you can also do is you can use the midtone slider here and you can also bring in a little bit more like orange or yellow, depending on how you want the clip to look. And yeah, I would say this is pretty good. Yeah, it looks much better than before already. So that's actually how easy it can go. Like you can clearly see how it is now. Everything is blue and here it's a lot more realistic. But like mentioned before, you get even better results when using a red filter. Like this has made this clip on a deepness of around, I would say uh, somewhere between five meters. I, I would say five meters, maybe a little bit more. And then five meters, it already starts that you lose so much light that it's really hard to get all the details, the color details back in post-production. So I would strongly recommend to use a filter there. But yeah, like for normal snorkeling, like no one, not really everyone dives as far as I do when snorkeling. So then it will work good if you just use this technique. I hope you liked it. And if yes, then please hit the subscribe button now because I publish one video per week, either a travel video or a tutorial. So you can learn a lot more in the future. So I would say see you in the next video.